This is a quick video on how this Corrosion X actually saved this bench grinder that we use. All right, so I'm gonna make this really short and sweet. Basically, this is Corrosion X. I've used it quite a bit before on like circuit boards for RC cars and things. And uh, after you get water damage, you can actually spray it on the chips and they will come back from the dead and they'll work and function perfectly fine like they were before they got water damage. So this is uh, really great stuff. You can also spray it on there before it gets water damaged, which is how I prefer to do it. But um, usually uh, either way to work um, and it's, it's a great waterproofer. So basically what happened is we have our bench grinder here. Um, usually it's sitting on the floor close to the floor like this. And you can see the rust on the bottom of it. Uh, so we actually have to wash out our garage quite a bit because we have four wheelers and things and mud and dirt and debris all get in the garage. So like I said, we washed it out and this thing's sitting on the ground, which obviously is not a good company. So basically what happens is as we're hosing out the garage, it's got this little plastic container on the bottom um, that holds a circuit board. Now this is just a drawer, but the circuit board is held in a container just like this on the bottom of this grinder. <clears throat> So one day we plugged this thing in and uh, it wouldn't work at all, no matter what we did with the buttons or the dials. And this has a circuit board uh, because of this variable resistor that controls the speed of the bench grinder. So basically what was happening was with the circuit board being in there, there's this box here and before it did not have holes to drain the water. So basically what happened was from uh, washing the garage out and from rain coming into the garage, uh, moisture and water collected in the bottom of this tray here where you can see um, the circuit board and like I said there were not holes there before so it couldn't drain out it basically the water sat in there and um, water damaged the circuit board to the point where it wouldn't work so basically since this stuff had worked for me before on my uh, other little uh, circuit boards and things I decided I was going to use it on this and I never would have thought it would work on 120 volt bench grinder circuit board but I sprayed it on there and uh, it actually ended up working. And like I said, you can see the circuit board in there where I actually have drilled holes and I put this stuff on it. So now um, it's completely waterproof and uh, any more water gets in there, it'll just drain off the circuit board and uh, won't affect it. So, but anyways, that's my story on how Corrosion X actually brought a $120 bench grinder back from the dead. And um, like I said, this is like a $25 bottle uh, or aerosol can, I guess I should say. And uh, it pays for itself pretty quickly, obviously. Like I said before, I've used this stuff quite a bit on hobby grade RC cars and uh, smaller circuit boards. Um, and I'm sure if it worked for a bench grinder, it probably could work for a lot of other tools and um, circuit boards, all kinds of stuff. But I'm sure there's many, many things you could use this for. And like I said, for 25 bucks um, to bring a circuit board back on 120 volt uh, bench grinder that's pretty amazing so I'm sure like I said it'd work on other stuff and um, if you think this might work for you I would definitely go for it thanks for watching I have several other videos on corrosion X if you're interested go ahead and go down to the description box um, click on the links and go check them out